I'm a business owner. In business, you have to take care of your people. That's why my employees were in the exact same health care plan as my family. And when COVID-19 hit, I made sure everyone could keep their health care in the health care crisis. But it's not just about taking care of people in a crisis. In the Army, I also learned that preparedness counts. It's the difference between life and death. You don't go into battle unprepared, and when it comes to fighting cancer, it's no different. It starts with eating the right foods, which means protecting our vital farmland from overdevelopment and foreign speculators, and making sure that family farms that make up 95% of the agriculture in my home state of Michigan can keep passing down their operations from generation to generation. Cancer has touched nearly every family fighting this disease, and we need to start arming America with knowledge, resources, and the help they need. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here to support those who work each and every single day to fight cancer. Across America, cancer is the reason for almost one out of every four deaths. It's the second highest cause of death for kids, for kids aged one to 14 years old nationwide. And this year, the American Cancer Society estimates there will be almost 2 million new cancer cases and over 600,000 cancer deaths in the United States alone. But here's the good news, the bright silver lining in this dark, dark cloud of cancer. More than 50% of cancers are preventable. But only if Americans are armed and equipped with the awareness and resources that they need. They say the best offense is a strong defense. It's true with cancer as well. And it's true with national security. And there's no bigger thing to making sure we have a secure nation to make sure we have a healthy America. With access to preventative medicine, we can make cancer deaths virtually zero. With a strong, healthy nation from birth on through life, we are building a strong country. The key to a strong national defense, as I said, is a healthy people. We can be even stronger by thinking outside the box and making sure that America remains the hub for medical innovation so the technologies to end cancer are right here at home. That's why I'm passionate about the work the Congressional Cancer Prevention Caucus is doing. I'm also grateful to this nation's world-class scientists, doctors, nurses, and medical support professionals who take care of all of us at our times of need and before. I'm proud to support you in this fight against cancer and serving those most in need. Let's kick cancer.